Hello, I'm Mira. We will dive deeper, adding more pre-Pilates movement. Keep your focus and energy flowing. You are strong, so let's begin the class. We're going to start sitting. We're going to start with our breathing. So find a comfortable sit. Prop your bottom if you need to, cross your leg, or go into a diamond leg position, or perhaps sit on a chair. Find that tall spine position. We inhale through the nose, we exhale through the mouth, working on our diaphragmatic breath. So let's begin in breath. Exhale. So allow the breath to prepare your mind and your body. Allow the breath to bring you and arrive on the mat. Allow the breath to take you deeper into your body so that you are ready for a really, really awesome class. It's a time where you set the right tone to your practice today. Let's do one more time with me. Excellent. Now let's take it on to our transverse abdominal connection. Let's do three sets of this. You may cross your leg to the other direction. So in breath. As we exhale, we start drawing the lower abs, middle abs, upper abs, and all together. And in breath. Exhale. Last one. Excellent. Let's take ourselves onto the floor, lying supine, roll to your side. Then go ahead and lie on your back. Feet are parallel, knees are pointing upward, your pelvis in a comfortable supine, neutral spine position. Arms long by the side, palms facing down. Let's prepare ourselves with our supine transverse abdominus connection again. So we in breath into our rib cage. Exhale as we draw in the lower abdominal, middle abdominal, upper abdominal, all together without rocking the pelvis or printing the lower back down to the floor. So we want to think about the corset muscle here. Inhale. Exhale. So if you palpate your hands on the inside of your hip bones, you feel that tense, the tensing of the abdominal drawing towards your spine, towards your pelvis. And two more times. Last one here. Okay, let's take our hands into that triangle position, fingertips to the pubic bone, heel of the palm on the hip joint and the thumbs in the middle. We in breath onto our pelvic rocks. Exhale, we deflate the abdominal and we allow the pelvis to rock. Lower back imprinting, the bottom comes off the floor. And in breath, let it go. Exhale, rocking. Inhale, you can also have your arms by the side if you prefer that way. If you have a hang of this rocking position, just free up your arms and leave them by the side. But if you want to still have that tactile guidance with the hands, you may continue to bring, place your hands on the pelvis. Exhale. And two more. Last one. Okay, now keep the pelvis stable. Now let's go into our pelvic clock. So we have 
at 12 o'clock on the belly button, and at 3 o'clock on the left hip, 6 o'clock on the pubic bone, and 9 o'clock on the right hip bone. So we're going to trail all the numbers around the clock. We're going to imprint that numbers to the floor. So as we breathe out, we're going to print the lower back down, which is to 12 o'clock. Then we move on to at 3 o'clock left hip, and then pubic bone, six o'clock, and then right hip, nine o'clock, and then back to 12 o'clock. So continue to trail the numbers and print that number down to the floor, creating a circular movement with the pelvis. Just breathe. Inhale whenever you feel like you need to take a knee in breath. And exhale. In breath. Let's do two more. I know it's a little bit tricky here. It can be quite tricky. Last one, I just want you to try your best and mobilize the pelvis. Come back to the center. Let's go the opposite direction. So reversing it, we got 12, we got the nine, we got the three, and not the three, the six, and the three, and the 12. And nine, which is your right hip, six, pubic bone, left hip, and a belly and continue that movement as smooth as possible and breathing out in breath whenever you feel like you need to take an in breath and if you find there's any area that's a little sticky that's the area that you want to work on so try to press it down and release it even deeper Let's do one more time and back to the center. I think that will be that is the most challenging exercise for this class. All right, so we stabilize the pelvis. You can have your hands holding the pelvis, or you can keep your hands by the side. We're going to stretch the leg closer to me, down on the floor, lengthening the leg. Exhale. Come back in for the single leg slide and switch over the other side. In breath. Exhale. Keeping the distance of the hip joint and the rib cage in constant all the time. Inhale as you stretch long. Lengthening. Exhale. Retract. Inhale. Reach. Exhale. Retract. Inhale. Reach. One more set. And the last one, reach long. Push something away from you here, perhaps. And come back. Okay, for the knee drop, stabilize the pelvis again. You can have your fingertips on the hip joint and the thumb on the rib cage. We open the leg closer to me out to the side without dropping the pelvis. Open the knee, exhale, bring it back. Open the other knee out. The pelvis stays in the middle. Exhale, come back. Inhale, open. Exhale, closing the leg back. Inhale, open. So you're gonna pull back in opposite hips and waistline without dropping the whole pelvis with you. Exhale, in breath. How far? I'm not sure. Everyone's a bit different here. So I wanted to just Listen to your body and see where is the point that you're about. There's no turning back and pretty much, and then come back in. One more side out. Exhale. Last one out. Exhale. Come back, come back. Excellent. Lift one leg up to your chest and the other one up, holding it. And let's go to the hip circle. We bring the thigh to you. We open the legs out and circle away and together as we in breath. And again, just breathe here. In breath, mobilizing the hip joint. Two more. Last one. Then reverse the other way out. In breath. Again, two more, last one, come back and 
hold that lower one foot down, second leg down. Moving on our to our single leg lift. Now I'd like you to really stabilize the pelvis here. So bring in the leg closer to me, take it up. As you breathe out, bring in the leg up to the tabletop. The idea here is as you lift the leg, the abdominal, the tibia is drawn in, your pelvis is stable, the lower back is stable. And as you lower from the hip joint, you'll keep the stabilization there in the center and come back up. So imagine you have a cup of tea resting on your pelvis. Now, you know what? I'm going to get a cup of tea here. So continue. Let's see. I've got, I have an empty coffee cup. Literally, I'm going to bring that cup onto my pelvis here. So I'm going to stabilize that cup as I lower and lift. So I don't want to rock the cup and spill my coffee all over myself. We go down. Exhale. It's good imagery, huh? Exhale. Last one. And hold there. Hands on the thighs. Now here, you're going to press down with the hands and you're going to put a break on your thigh. So we breathe up, push down, hold it, and you feel that cup being sucked down towards your spine and release. One more time. Press down and, and hold it with the thigh. Draw the abdominal in and release. Okay, lower the leg down. Gonna keep this cup here for your imagery's sake. Let's go the other way. Exhale, shh, lifting my leg. Inhale, lowering. I'm stabilizing my pelvis so I'm not spilling my coffee all over myself. Shh, and up. Shh, in breath. That's pretty good balance. <laughs> and up. In breath. Exhale. Shh, in breath. Again. Shh, and down. Two more. Hot coffee. You don't want to spill hot coffee all over you. So take care. Last one. And there. All right. Hands on the thigh. Press down. Put a break on the thigh. Deflate the abdominal. And release. One more time. Press down. Put a break with the thigh. Keep the neck nice and long. And Release. Okay, let's lower the leg and you can put this away on my side. All right, now open the feet slightly wider than the pelvis. I'm set to the side for the hip roll. We're going to drop the leg towards me and recover back. Drop to the other side and recover back. We got in breath, exhale. In breath, exhale. Now in breath, let's hold that for a second. The idea here is I want you to lengthen the open side. So think about reaching the hip and the rib cage away from each other. So pull apart and then you come back, retract. And the other side, the same here, you think about reaching and pulling apart that open side and then come back. So keep that in mind as you rotate to the right and the left. And center, one more each side. And center, last one. All right, now bring the feet together. This time, I want you to tie your legs together. Imagine you're a mermaid or a merman. All right, your fin will travel with you to your right or towards me. As we inhale, tie the legs together, moving from the center, control, exhale, come back. Inhale, we rotate from the waistline. Exhale. Shh. This is about control. It's a little bit different from what we did before. Exhale. Shh. So tie your legs together. Inhale. Exhale. Shh. We are working on the obliques muscle here. Shh. Again, in breath. Shh. One more set. Over to me. Exhale. Last one. Over to you. Exhale. And come back. Excellent. Let's have the feet apart. Take the arms up to the ceiling here. Now palms facing your thigh for the shoulder flexion, which is arms overhead. As you inhale, 
taking care that your rib cage does not pop up and arch your back. You want to keep that rib cage lengthening down to the pelvis. Exhale, you take the arms to the hip side. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, so use your breath. As you inhale, think about you stretching your spine, lengthening long and growing tall here. Exhale, you can imagine that your spine is like a plasticine. So as you inhale, you're being stretched out. Exhale, again, two more in breath. Stretch out, hold the rib cage down towards the pelvis and last one. And brilliant. Let's turn yourself towards me. Bottom arm is long underneath you. You have your legs stacked up together, feet aligned with the spine. Now, the oblique lift, we're going to let it sway. We're going to lift it up. Two more, let it sway. Lift it up. Last one, sway. Lift it up and hold that. Top hand here and hold this oblique for the cleanse. We open the thigh with that dropping backward and we close. Open and we close. Out as much as you can, we close. And out and close and five more. Stabilize here. Two, one. Open and we close the hold the underneath waistline, interlace the hands behind your head for the chest opener. We in breath, open in the front of the chest. Exhale, Shh. come back to face me. In breath, and exhale. Shh. Two more times, exhale. Shh. And the last one here. Exhale. Brilliant. And let's come up and over to the other side. So we have the oblique lift first. Bottom arm nice and long. Align your feet with the spine. Knees stack together. We're just going to drop the waistline. Then we lift. We drop. And we lift. We drop one last here. We lift and hold it. Hold. You can take your hands here. Stabilize the pelvis. We open for the clamp. And we close. Out. And we close. So we're working on how to stabilize your center while we're lying on the side. And we're working on strengthening this hip muscle. And the external rotator. And. Four more, three, two, last, awesome. All right, interlace the hands behind your head. And the chest opener, we in breath, we open, open, open. Exhale, we close, close, close. In breath, open. Exhale. Two more. Enjoy the opening and the stretch across the front of the chest here. Exhale. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite exercise. In breath. Something that I do every single day. Well done. Okay. On to your front, please. For our back extension. Stack the arm. One palm on top of the other. What we've been doing in pre flat is one and two here. So for the diamond press exercise, legs nice and long, nice and firm. Now contract the shoulder blades down, pick up your belly in breath. We lift the upper back up. Neck is long, gaze is still down to the floor. Exhale. And then gliding the shoulder blades down and we inhale to lift. Exhale, so really try to wake up or engage the upper back to lift the up, to lift the spine up. Not using too much of your arm muscle here. 
Last one. And now we're going to, I have my right hand on top of my left here. As I come up, my right arm will float up with my back and then come on down. Again, same thing, I'm keeping my right arm up. I'm still having my abdominal lifting up nice and strong here so my lower back is long. And down. Two more in breath. Exhale. Last one in breath. Come back down. Switch your hand over the other arm. Inhale. Exhale. And you know, while we're doing here, observe. Which side is easier for you to lift? In breath, we have our favorite side. And the side that is more challenging to lift, that's the side that we want to keep working on. Inhale, last one. Exhale. Well done. All right. Arms on the side of your shoulder. Push up. Sit back just very quickly and come back up to our modified quadruped. So we have the hands underneath the shoulder, your pelvis somewhere between your knee and your ankle. Now here, we can release the feet underneath you for today. Now here, I wanted to create a nice strong base here. You know, I'm a playground for my daughter. She's four years old. So I'm imagining I'm a slide here. So I'm creating a beautiful long back so she can slide down on my back. Have you ever done that? She's, I've done it a lot with, with Kaya, who's, who's my daughter. She's four years old. So here, I'm gonna create a good strong base for her. So as I in breath, I expand my ribcage and I exhale, I wanna draw in my TVA here. So my lower back doesn't sway down. I'm lifting up through center and exhale. So as I lift my center, as you can slide down my back, nice and easy. Again, two more. Exhale. You know, my arm is to be so strong to support her weight too. And last one, story of a mother. Exhale, lifting up. Okay. Good, now, now that you achieve that, we're gonna move the spine for a little cat stretch. Exhale, you're gonna make a round back like a camel hump and then back to the slide and then take the upper back up to arch like a hammock. And then rounding like a camel hump into diagonal slide and upper back extend like a hammock. Two more round, just move that spine. Inhale, keep the pelvis back and arch. Last one, we round here, strong arm all the time. In breath, back to the slide and arch like a hammock and come back. Well done, sit back onto your heels, stretch your arms forward for rest position. Long inhalation with me. Exhale. And roll yourself up to sitting. Give yourself a little tap on the shoulder because we are done. That was excellent. Thank you for staying through with me. The whole class, you are strong. I'll see you back on the mat tomorrow. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos Focus on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, comment and subscribe and turn on notification so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.